Uh, this is a really great thing, and I'm so excited to have you guys in the studio. WireNet Home Services is a local company that strongly believes in serving our veteran community. So this morning, they're honoring Mount... I say caramel. Some people say caramel. It's kind of like we like it like the candy, Mount <laughs> Carmel. <laughs> caramel. Okay, Veteran Service Center today. So joining me is Chief Operations Officer of Mark Caramel. Mount Carmel. Carmel. See, we're gonna it's a whole thing. <laughs> but people will never forget the name. I'm telling you. Yes. This is Bob McLaughlin. Thank you so much for joining us. You're the owner of Wirenet Home Services. I we've am. been working. Oh, you are over there. So we've been I working am. with yes. you for a while, and I think that's really great. I appreciate you guys being here, and you are part of that. Tell me the name again. Mount Carmel Veteran Service Center. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So you guys are actually really taking care of local veterans um, here, and you guys really focus on that. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, we're, we're very proud to be delivering the service at the Mount Carmel Veteran Service Center. It's a beacon of support um, for military veterans and their families with supportive services, with behavioral health counseling, and transition and employment services. I love that you guys are doing that. So you guys were actually nominated, so you got to be part of our three degree guarantee. And for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically where Matt Meister and myself, every morning, we forecast. And if we get it within three degrees of that, then you actually um, get $30 from Wirenet Home Services, $30 from Fox 21 News, and we donate money to a charity that's chosen every single month. And you were the charity that was nominated this month, so all of the money that we got from that is gonna be going to you. So tell me what this means to you guys to be able to be recognized not only in the community but also to be having um, a nice chunk of money delivered to you guys. Well especially now the the need is great with with not all all of our community but for the veteran community those vets that might have been suffering from unemployment or need services every dollar that we get is so important that so we can help boost people up in their time of need and then work with them on counseling if they need it help them with rent if they need it, and then of course um, get back out into the workforce. So it all really goes and sticks with the veterans. You really Absolutely. just make sure that you take care of them. What do you guys offer in terms of behavioral health? So we're very proud of our counseling program. We do um, individual counseling, we do alternative therapy. Uh, we actually started doing some art therapy online recently. Um, we were doing retreats. Uh, we hope to start that again when it's okay, but it's holistic. What we found is those people in need of counseling need more than just face-to-face. -face. They may need some uh, alternative therapy, whether it's equine or art therapy. It's, it's just good to provide a holistic approach to uh, wellness. And you're still offering this during COVID-19 times. How are you guys offering those services? Um, we, we're very lucky that uh, we received some uh, money from the Emergency Relief Fund to get some more computers, to get software. Our staff, which is largely interns, students that are doing the counseling are doing it online. And we're starting to do more in-house um, using social distancing. Okay, so I love that you guys are doing that. So if, if a viewer wanted to get in touch with you guys and they wanted to make a donation, is that something that you that they can do? Yeah, we would certainly welcome um, support for our services. Veteranscenter.org is our webpage. And then you can always call and come in if you want to check us out at 772-7000. Okay, so one of the things I have to ask you is how do you feel about being part of this? Why did you personally choose how to work with uh, this commute with this whole project well I'm, I'm a almost a 30-year veteran and wow. uh, uh, Jay Chimino and his daughter Gina um, he's the CEO of Phil Long uh, dealerships uh, enterprise and Gina's the president and I get to work with them every day it was Jay's vision to bring something to the community to help uh, veterans and uh, basically five years ago he, um, he gave me a deal I couldn't refuse I love that so same question for Trent over there, you are holding a huge check right now. I am. This is all going to go to Mount Caramel. Uh, I, I can't say Carmel. I, I always want to say Caramel. So, <laughs> but Mount Carmel, why did you choose them? Because you because you get all these nominations and there's so many charities and you you get to pick somebody. Why did you choose them? Well, we have always had a close tie with veterans. In fact, my whole family, you know. A lot of Navy. I don't know where you came from, Bob, but a lot of Navy in my family. Yeah. Um, and we've just always been very close with veterans. We have a ton of them on our team, and we just we understand, you know, the commonalities between what we do today, you know, every day in homes, taking care of people, and what they are doing for our country, and taking well, care of our country. Let me have you hold that check up and show everybody. It's massive. It comes this up to my chest. <laughs> yeah. This month, 
1780 dollars yes. is going to mount caramel so thank caramel. you Car yeah, mount caramel. <laughs> you'll get it so uh. thank you so much for all that you do over at wirenut home services we appreciate yes. the donations that you guys are making every month to support our local, our local to community you guys glad are fantastic congratulations yeah. thank you Whew, i'm glad we were able to do that <laughs> guys for more information oh. on mount caramel just go to veteranscenter.org. All right, guys, we're going to be right back. But this segment's been sponsored by Wirenet Home Services. And coming up, 